Nay, shalom, shalom, shalom. First foremost, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah, Baraka the Yahweh, Baraka the Yahweh Shah. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakar Dash. Once again, double honor, scribe to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations also go out to the fellow Akin that are out there on the highways and byways, pushing this truth across the four corners of this earth while we're trying to wake up the remaining hopeful elect. All right, because time is very short. These prophecies, A, hey, uh, the window of repentance is getting smaller and smaller, people. All right. I uh, just want to mention that you'll see me sip on some hot tea from time to time because I got a uh, chest cold and sore throat. <clears throat> so, Bubba uh bear with me. Uh, but, something that, if you can read the title, I mean, it says, Khazars Rush to Africa to Corrupt. All right. It says, Black Jews, I'm just going to say Israelites, waking up to their Hebrew heritage. All right. And how often have we told you, at some point or another, uh, it's hardly a video that you can watch that someone doesn't uh, tell you that these people are not the Israelites, the people occupying the land uh, of Israel now. There's all kinds. If, if we're here at Great Millstone, we encourage you to do your own research. All right. Uh, we actually want you, all right, if you're diligent and the Holy Spirit is working with you, we want you to get it, you know, but it starts with repentance, you got to understand, all right, and let me say this, get away from these damn churches, they were set up, ultimately, by these very same people I'm going in on now, and furthermore, uh, this video, this young man here, <coughs> very uh, well put together, um, uh, and since I said that, let's go ahead and get the copyright disclaimer out of the way. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a uh, use permitted by copyright statutes that might otherwise be infringing. <coughs> Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. So there you go. Uh, I'm not into this to uh, profit off of uh, anybody else's work. We don't do that. All right. So this, I'm going to also address the issue, the fact of how these schemers, all right, these Edomites, these Khazars, they knew who we were. Um, the fact that they really didn't know their ass from a hole in the ground uh, as far as where they wanted to settle to try to, uh, I guess, the beginnings of this great lie that culminated in the Holocaust, all right, to gain sympathy. Hey, you got to understand this lie <clears throat> has been, <clears throat> so like, it's like, this lie has been very profitable to them. So therefore, you think, uh, let me rephrase that question, do you really think they want to give up uh, being recognized as, as the chosen? Hell no. So what are they going to do? They're going <laughs> to go down kicking and strength, uh, screaming. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start the video. And just uh, keep in mind what I just told you. We're going to go in on it. Don't worry. <clears throat> so here we go. Look at what it says right here, okay? That nation, talking about the Edomites, the Caucasians, okay, the white race that forgives all for the sake of money. Mm -hmm. And what? That has kept Israel, the Negro, back from the study of the Torah. <laughs> what is up guys welcome back to the channel let's talk about Esau guys okay specifically the Khazars and to be fair the entire Edomite race as a whole guys okay because it's not just the Khazars okay oftentimes we focus too much on what the Khazars are doing you know pretending to be the modern Jews but the truth is they are Edomites who are in charge of Christianity and also of Islam as yeah. well guys okay yeah those white yeah. ones whether it's 
the Ottoman Turks, who are also. predominantly Muslim today, they are the ones who are running the Arab. How else are you gonna have control if it's not? All right, you're so focused on well, the or pretending to be the Jews, it doesn't stop there. The Catholic Church, all right, the Turks, which he's going to go into, they're just half of the, as far as that goes, you got to understand, they're the same people from that same region, uh, the Caucasus Mountains, uh, uh, all these regions that you've heard lately that, you know, supposed to be at war with, with Russia. It's all, they're all the same people, so they're doing what I consider double dipping because especially when it comes to America you got so many problems here but no you want to uh, help these motherfuckers in Ukraine and all that they're the same people that occupy uh, present day Israel they're running a huge con on the world and people heat it up because they had believed all right and it's in large part due to so-called white supremacy that those are the people. Some of them broke out into Islam and they became the Turks. But they're the same people. The other portion of them, uh, you know, went to Judaism. All right. But the Catholic Church as well, they control all this. That false prophet is not just uh, Catholicism and, and, and only Catholicism. You, you know, when George Bush made that statement about the axis of evil, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about Judaism. We're talking about Christianity as it was taught. We're talking about Islam. All right? Continuing on. Leagues of nations, guys. Yeah, when you look at those Arabs, you see them looking super white. It's because they are Caucasians, guys. Edomites. Don't ever forget, Edomites control the three major world religions mm -hmm. today. In truth, they control many more than that. But definitely, false. Christianity... That false prophet. Alright? It's just not limited to... <coughs> uh, Catholicism. Alright, hold on. Alright, we're talking about those uh, three frogs. Hold on. Come on here. Revelation chapter 16 verse 12 and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates Remember we got the news was the last year uh, like, um, Hey time passes so fast so forgive me within the last two years that it had dried up over there It says and the water thereof was dried up and the way of the kings of the east might be prepared All right, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet all right, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them and uh, to gather them to the battle of that great day of the most high Yahweh Almighty all right uh, let's see let's see devils working miracles signs all right for that is to tempt them to the battle all right the kings of the earth Go down here. You got my little picture in the way. Hold on. Uh, yeah, dog, hold on. There we go. All right. It says, Kings of the whole habitable world who are of this world. All right. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Which will culminate in what? Uh, Revelation, the next chapter over, and 17th chapter. Because you got to understand. You're talking about the arms of this beast system. You've got America is the military arm of it. London is the financial. And then the Vatican, all right, which is recognized as the what? All right, you got the spiritual aspect of it, the, that false prophet, all right. But my point being, they've got their hands in all of this. We've uh, often had uh, said about the Saudi family. Being infiltrated with Edom, all 
right? The, the, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. All right? The earth. All right, let's go back to the video. See, Islam are the modern day variants of Judaism that exists today, which is Talmudism, guys. Yeah, All can. of that is run yep. by Esau, okay, the Caucasian race. I want to see this book, guys, because in this book here, yep. titled The Legend of the Jews, let me make it a single. I looked it up. Let me let it go on. So H, you can... I don't know why it's looking that way. The Legends of the Jews. All right. So I looked it up. The Legend of the Jews. Better get it while, while you know. Because you know what happens when we review books. All right. The Legends of the Jews complete, it says. It says paperback 2241. Hardcover 120. Might as well say $121. All right. And it goes out here. It gives you different. It says volume one. <clears throat> volume one. I'm not sure. Uh, too sure what the definition of complete is. It says four volumes here. All right, and you'll see what I'm talking about once I keep going down. It says 35, uh, and then the hardcover here is just 55 dollars. So it's like, and then you get, you know, used for 50 dollars. All right, now here's another one, for 18 for the paperback. I'm like, what the hell? For the first and second volume. I'm like, okay. Uh, Legends of the Jews, Volume 1, Bible Times and Characters from the Creation to Jacob. See? So, I guess, you know, go with the first one. Here's another one. Uh, but this is from someone else. This is not Lewis Ginsburg. All right? The one you want is Lewis Ginsburg. That's the one he's uh, featuring in, in his video here. All right, so let's go back to the video. Jews by Louise Ginsburg. Look at that name right there, guys. Ginsburg. Okay, if it's not clear to you, yes. This book was written by one of these uh, stars, okay, one of these people that call themselves the Jews of the Bible, who are not guys, okay, Revelation 2 verse 9 is a very important verse in the Bible to check to see who these Khazars really are, guys, okay, Revelation 2 verse 9, and of course, Revelation 3 verse 9 as well, okay, so this is volume 3 of the Legend of the Jews, guys, okay, this comes in about maybe 6 volumes, but this is volume 3, I want you guys to see what is written, we're going to page 167 guys okay so here we are guys on page 167 very powerful information for every negro to know okay because many of us who are in christianity and who are maybe in judaism as well okay because we have some of our people whether it's in africa or other parts of the world who have converted to judaism you need to understand that your enemy will never teach you to keep the laws of your god mm -hmm. instead they will teach you mm -hmm. to break his laws guys mm -hmm. okay so listen to this guy i want you guys to see what this passage says right here i'm going to read the highlighted section okay he says but god will call out to the messiah roar at this monster that devours the fat of the nation so the monster here we're talking about is esau guys okay this is talking about the last days when the messiah returns and it's time for him to bring down the nations the gentile nations so he's talking about esau now roar at this monster that devours the fat of the nations that justify its claims for recognition through being a descendant if you're turning 65 or beyond, you're going to want to watch this. So hockey, hockey, there are a lot so of people hockey, today so that are Medicare eligible that are enrolled. ...of Abraham by his grandson <coughs> Esau. So about the Edomites here, guys, okay? God will tell the Messiah to destroy Esau, guys, okay? So let's see what Esau has done that God wants the Messiah to destroy him for. Let's see what he has done. The nation that forgives all for the sake of money, meaning no justice, guys, okay? This is something we need to realize. If you have money in America or any of these nations where Esau runs, you can escape so much justice, guys. Look, it's not a coincidence that many of these celebrities and people in power tend to escape justice in America because they have that money. When you have money, Esau, the Caucasian race, will give you the opportunity. Because of the system, and you're on the Habakkuk too, it tells you about that, that debt-based system, but moreover, you gotta realize this is his idea of justice, all right? That's why he stays away from this. Some Talmud. That's some random uh, writings of pedophiles and all sorts of uh, deviants. All right, Talmud. All right, and well, let's let him continue on. I don't want to jump ahead. See, at the very least, to escape justice, guys. Okay, it's true. But let's keep going. Let's but he's not going to escape this done. justice. That's okay, the point. so that nation of the all for the sake of money uh -huh. mm -hmm. and what that has kept israel the negro 
back from the study of the Torah. And I'd often stated it's like it, about this is like a huge game of keep away. When you talk about Psalms 83rd chapter, all these motherfuckers were Confederate. All right, it was a team up. You know, I always say racism is a team sport. We have no team as a, you know, simple there, you know. <laughs> but uh, they were all Confederate when we go to Psalms. I may get that later on. Psalms 83rd chapter tells you all these people, these nations came together to make sure. In fact, let's get it now. Conspiracies. So there is such thing as conspiracy. We live it, thereby we should know it, right? It says a song or song of Asa. It says, Keep not thou silence, O Most High Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Most High Yahweh. Alright, it says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Alright, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Boy, these are some, some, all right, proud motherfuckers. As you can see over here, it says, be not still, literally, not quiet, all right? And it takes us to, uh, of course, this is another prayer, all right? Hear my prayer, almost how you how I listen to my cry for help. This is what's going on. Do not ignore my sobbing, for I am a resident foreigner with you, a temporary settler, just as all my ancestors were, all right? Because we are, as in this case, all right, in the land of our enemies, as was prophesied, all right. Uh, our oppressor is over us. And this is one from old, you know. Uh, three, they have taken crafty counsel, all right. Crafty counsel against thy people, crafty. Understand that word, crafty. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. What do you think this is? What did he just read there? Hold on. Roar at this monster that devours the fat of the nations. All right. This whole thing since the Renaissance has been a transference of wealth. And it continues. All right, that justifies its claims for recognition through being a descendant of Abraham by his grandson Esau. They sold a birthright. This is all of them trying to get that birthright back. The nation that forgives all for the sake of money that kept Israel back from the study of the Torah and tempted them to deeds that are in accord with the wishes of Satan. They tell you this in the book of Judas, the fifth chapter. And there's other places, don't worry, because these nations would send out spies. Yes, they would send out spies to see what we were doing if we were indeed living by the law, statutes, and commandments. And they knew better as it goes into uh, Judas, the fifth chapter. All right. If they deem that, yeah, they, they're following the law, you know, it's. You know, don't fuck with them people then. That's going to be very bad for us. Alright? They knew this. Alright? Uh, continuing on. And has tempted the Israelites to deeds <laughs> and in accordance with the wishes <laughs> of Satan. Yeah, very important mm -hmm. stuff. Let me just highlight it again so you guys will see. Look at what it says right here, okay? After now, reading that, hold on, so I can, after reading that, now you can understand the entertainment industry. Um, this is all done and it's directed in particular 
at our people, what other nation of people has this gang now, other nations listen to it, and that was the you gotta understand now that you hear this, and if you understand this, now you know in the early days why they didn't want this to get out to the suburbs. They're kids, because you gotta understand these entertainers that they set up our people, where do you think the bulk of the money is coming from? In fact, the vast majority of the money is not from us. It's from them folk. Hmm. Hmm. All those cases about blaming rap music back in the 90s, you know, for, yeah, see, it, it was more to it. All right. Nation, talk about the Edomites, the Caucasians, okay, the white race that has kept Israel back from the study of the Torah. In Christianity, what did they always tell us, guys? What did they tell us about the so called Mosaic Law, right? That's what they call the Torah, the Mosaic Law, the Law of Moses, which is a fallacy because the laws written in the Torah, whether it's the Leviticus or the other books, are not the laws the of Moses, guys. They are the laws of God that He gave Moses. God is using Moses as the medium to tell the people, okay, the laws are the laws of God. The Torah is not Mosaic law like they call it in Christianity. That term, Mosaic law, is a trick, guys. It's a trick that Christians, the Caucasian race, uses to deceive people into thinking that we shouldn't take those laws very seriously because yeah. it doesn't come from God. When in fact, it does come from God. Because you know, in these churches, they, you know, the laws done away with because of well, no, complete lack of understanding. So here's the thing I've always said. You know, and considering the source. Where do you... Ah. Here's a man that's done all kinds of ungodly things that has literally called us everything but the child of the Most High, which we are. All right? Why would you trust him in giving you the truth about something so important? Why? So he sets up these, I'm not going to go to Jeremiah 23, Ezekiel 22nd chapter, and I just made. But, and again, you got to read Acts chapter 4, uh, verse 5, because in fact, let me get that real quick, and then I'll go to uh, Jeremiah, and uh, all right, so we're through with, actually, let me finish out Psalms. It says, they have said, come let us. Cut them out from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles, here's number one on the hit list. I'll leave off the S. Edom, that's the so called white man, or the red man. That's what he actually is. And the Ishmaelites, those fucking Arabs, all right, of Moab, so called Chinese, and the Hagarenes. Gabal, and I believe this is making reference to, because it's mentioning Esau twice because there was a settlement uh, in Gabal. Uh, it says in Ammon, which are the uh, Japanese today, and Amalek, who is the grandson of Jacob's brother Esau. The Philistines, all right, Canaanites, Hamites, with the inhabitants of Tyre. All right, again. Um, so let's go to all right let's see do, 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 do. oops do, 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 do. now let's go to Jeremiah 23 all right he prophesies a res restoration of the scattered flock. Is that talking about everybody in the world? It's talking about a specific group of people. It's talking about a specific group of people. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, said Most High. And that's what these people that are set up in these modern day churches are set up to do. Yep, that's what they're doing. Keep you fat, dumb, or stupid. Alright, what can we do to keep them from actually learning? who they really are. And unfortunately, or depending on how you look at it, fortunately, all right, because some of my people are just so far gone, you know, good.
good riddance. But you believe in oppression to the point you got to understand the, the, the strategy of this devil to keep our people so demoralized that generations down the line even when the truth is told to you you don't even give a fuck because the enemy has got your mind now that's all he needs will be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor saith the most high Yahweh therefore thus saith the most high Yahweh the God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them behold I will visit upon you the evil of your doings saith the most high so doesn't look too good for these oh and as you go down further down this is where you get this I have a dream alright and in fact because that speech that Martin Luther King gave that was given to him by what An Edomite, and his name, oh, hold on, let's see, was Stanley Levin. Huh. Okay, where is it? Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Probably seven or six. Here it is, verse 25. I have heard what the prophet said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. It was actually, that speech was a last minute um, alteration in what, you know, what he was going to actually do. That was presented to him at the last minute, literally. All right, so let's go to Ezekiel. So these people know who we are. That's my point. Let's go to Ezekiel. Let's go to 22. Uh, I think it's down around 20. Let's see. Hold on here. Alright. Let's see. Dude. It is the general corruption of prophets, priests, prisoners. <laughs> ah, it's like the general corruption of prophets, priests, princes, and people. Hey, the show must go on, right? <laughs> Verse 23, And the word of the Most High Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor reigned upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy, oh, there goes that word again, of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion, ravening the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. That's all these preachers are concerned with filthy looker, alright uh, they have made her many widows in the midst thereof her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things they have put no difference between the holy and profane neither have they shewed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my sabbaths and I am profaned among them her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain alright and her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar seeing vanity and divining uh, lies unto them saying thus saith the most high Yahweh when the most high hath not spoken so they got a special judgment coming to them alright uh, these people that were set up to be uh, our so called leaders Oh yeah. Continue on. Lord, guys, okay. More and more times in the book of Leviticus, once you read it, you will see that these laws are coming from Moses, guys. They're coming from God Himself. God is telling Moses, Moses, tell the people, tell the Israelites, tell the congregation, okay? The Mosaic law is not the law of Moses. It's the law of God, guys. The Torah. Very important stuff, guys. And as you can see right here, mm. Esau is going to keep the Israelites, the Negro race back from the story of the Torah, okay, and I've shown you one and way. And it's not so, just the like, southern kingdom, all right, it's the northern kingdom as well, you know, we got northern and southern kingdoms, all right, and those two are being brought together by Ezekiel 37 chapter is such uh, of importance, and we bring out that sign in every camp, all right, and that's, 
again prophecy. By teaching the Negroes in Christianity that what? That the Mosaic law, right? They call it the law of Moses, are done away with. They're not sky. There might be one or two of them that is nullified by the death of the Messiah when he died. His sacrifice covered the Israelites for a time, yes. But the rest of the laws are still in effect, guys. Yes. Yeah. So we don't get this, okay? But let's see another way that these Edomites keep the Israelites back from the story of the law. I want you guys to see this book. It was published in the year 1998. Not a very old book, but it has some good information in the book, guys. Okay, so let's look it up real quick. <clears throat> Jews and places you never thought of. never thought of. That's the hardcover. It says unavailable. Paperback book. No matter. Wrong one. Uh, wow. It looks like it's not available. Alright. By Karen Premack. Alright. I don't even have a See all the formats. Nope. Get this out of the way again. Alright. So we don't even, uh, we have no way to uh, gauge uh, how much this was or what, you know. My comment says everything about this book is explosive. have as one. Well, the book was interesting. It seemed to be mostly opinion without outside sources to back the conclusions of the various submissions. You want to guess who that is? <coughs> All right, here we are. So here it is. Jews in places you never thought of. Okay, it was edited by Karen Primack. Okay, so let's see what's in this book. We're going to go to one of the earlier pages, guys. I want to show you how these Edomites, the ones that are in Judaism, right? The ones that call themselves Jews, the Khazars, use the same method. Let's follow along with them. Uh, let's see. Let's get them open another window. Uh, Alright, let's see if it will. Son of a... Hmm. Don't look like it's going to let me do it, son. Hmm, so it must be... Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Get lucky, because <laughs> sometimes I go to the site and but uh, they're not letting you download it. All right, so uh, let's see. Books well, again. Nope. All right, we'll just have to can't follow along with them. So uh, let's see here. But as the Edomites who are in Christianity to get the Negro to stop keeping the laws of the Torah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what they did. Okay, so check this out, guys. We're going to read this section right here. We are on pages 12 within the preface, guys. That is not page 12 in the book, but it's page 12 in the preface. Let's see what it says. Look right here, guys. Another example are the Abayu 
Odaya, a group of native Ugandans who have been practicing Judaism since 1919, when their leader, a local governor named Semai Kakungulu, studied and meditated on the Old Testament and adopted the observance of all Moses' commandments, including circumcision. What you are seeing right here, they call it observance of Moses' commandments. It's not Moses' commandments, God. It's the laws of God. It's the Torah they are talking about right here. So these uh, Judea, okay, in Uganda, and I, yes, they are real Israelites, guys. Don't worry about many of these books. They try to make you so believe. So even in giving you this information, you see the the, the level of, of trickery that's that's attempted here. Moses' commandments. What? That oh, these people combated the Jews. It's not true. It's a trick of the enemy. When you read their books, you have to read with wisdom because yeah. sometimes they'll try to make you think they are converts. They are not yeah. converts. Yeah, these are real Israelites right here. So let's see what they did next. Okay, let's see what the modern day Jews, these Khazars, did to these ones who were keeping the laws of Moses, the Torah. Let's see what they did, okay? Over the next seven decades, the Abayudaya were visited by who? By Americans, by Europeans, and Israeli Jewish travelers who instructed them in what? Post-Biblical Judaism. post that? Did you catch it? Post-Biblical Judaism. Guys. What these Israeli travelers and these Americans and Europeans Jews did was they came to these Ugandans who were keeping the laws of the Torah and they told them, stop keeping the Torah, keep the Talmud instead, that's the trick, that's the trick, that's what go. they've been doing. It's just like Louise Ginsburg said in his book right here, okay, look at what they said, Esau, the nation that forgives all for the sake of money, that keeps Israel back from the study of the Torah and tempts them to deeds that are in accordance with the wishes of Satan, guys, okay? They tell these Ugandans who are waking up to their Israelite identity, stop keeping the laws of the Torah, guys. That's the trick. The Mosaic law, the law of Moses, is the Torah. Now, not... we know ultimately that you cannot keep the law. And I hate I want this long without making that point. All right, because Yahweh Shai, which is something that these Edomites do not believe in. All right, so ultimately, when you read Hebrews seven, eight, and ninth chapter, all right, no, the laws are not done away with, but just the law of sacrifice. You no longer have to. In fact, let me uh, get Hebrews nine here. That's the only one, because um, now we don't have to. You know, going to Romans 7 chapter. Um, let's see, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, all right. This is very small, that's why I'm having difficulty here. All right. Let's uh, see. <coughs> My chapter. All right. Scroll on down here. Description of the rights and bloody sacrifices of the law. Right, let's see where I'm going to start so it can make sense to you. Uh, let's see. I suggest you read the whole thing, but let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's start at 11. It says, But Hamashiach Yahawashah being come in a high priest, I of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say not of this building all right all right let's talk about body all right neither by the blood of goats and cows which is the old way all right making these sacrifices it says but not neither by the blood of goats and cows but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place having obtained eternal redemption for us not everybody else in the world for the Israelites for the Israelites
Acts. <clears throat> now I mentioned earlier about uh, chapters four and five of this. All right. Uh, please read that for yourselves. My point being, there's so much emphasis in this society ruled by our enemy, the so-called white man, about education. Unfortunately, so many of our people casting aside the fact that this is our enemy who's never cared any fucking thing about us. You want to go to his schools, all right, and get his approval to get his become a man of letters according to what his uh, uh, curriculum is. And then uh, the fourth chapter here, the chapter before, it goes and tell you that the prophets were disciples were considered what unlearned men because it was a spirit working with them they weren't considered men of letters all right or so-called educated men all right but here we go this is acts 5 and 30 the god of our fathers raised up yahweh whom he slew and hanged on a tree him hath the most high exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to who israel and forgiveness of sins nobody else all right, so oh, we don't we don't want no no no. We, you read the Talmud. You don't, and of course, this is what it is now. Belief, and when we can go into um, First John. Hold on. It says, uh, He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his Son. And this is the record that the Most High hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. All right, faith in him or through him. All right, he that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son hath not life. down here to keep moving this but in this commentary to actually get it right you just have to be careful of these all right because again considering the source who wrote them it goes on to say right here we follow my curse of divine faith is an asset is an ascent unto something as credible on the testimony of the how about you now shy this is the highest kind of faith all right because the object has the highest credibility because grounded upon the testimony Yahweh which is infallible. All right. So there we go. Uh, let's go back to the video. Moses' laws, guys. It's the laws of God. God gave it to Moses, and then Moses spoke to the congregation. It's not Moses' laws. Moses was literally the middleman when it comes to giving. Yeah, so on, so on. the laws okay it wasn't his it was from his god guys okay and this same thing you will see it in uh, communities who have woken up in recent times to their identity okay like the lemba as i tell you yeah, right lemba. now lemba they are not keeping the law of the torah no more guys they are keeping the talmud okay even in the nigeria here in parts of Igbo land where these kazars have gone to teach see? the people there they've the gone to teach many evils who up. have woken up to who they are Guess what? They're not teaching them to keep the Torah, guys. They are teaching them to keep the Talmud. It's the trick of the enemy. Okay, and many of our people cannot see that trick. It's very sad, okay? I can show you guys a picture of some Igbos of Nigeria. In this image, you can clearly see that these people are not learning the customs and the traditions of the ancient Israelites. No, they are learning the customs and traditions of the Khazars. There we go. Okay, these fake modern Jews, okay? Very powerful stuff. People need to wake up to this stuff, guys, okay? Abandon the Talmud. That thing is a joke. Yeah. The Torah it's is the only wicked, way. Okay, so here we have the book book. of Sarah, guys, okay? Also known as Ecclesiasticus. Look at what it said. The knowledge of the commandments of the Most High Yahweh is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please Him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. If you can't see 
what I just showed you that these people these wicked ass Edomites these so called white people these people pretending to be Israel that they are not the wicked of this earth purposely are right, miseducating the Israelites This is wicked. It says right here in chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord, the Torah, is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please Him shall receive the fruits of the trees of immortality, guys. If you want that immortality, you must have the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord, the Torah, your enemies. Don't want you to have it, guys. See, this is encompasses the whole book. All right. Old Testament. The Apocrypha and the New. Which is something that these Khazars, these Edomites, all right, these people that pretend that they are the chosen, they don't believe it anyway. It's, all it takes is a, a, a little effort, people, that you know, you want to find out what's going on. It's not just giving in to, to ignorance is bliss. That type of bullshit. All right, are you going to continue to be left out there in the wilderness? All right, as the scripture said. All right. But whoever made that statement about made that statement about if you want to hide something from a Negro just put it in a book <laughs> see so much has been done to turn our people off alright and ultimately this is the most high at work here alright but uh, again he is in part right you know focusing uh, as the scripture says in Job 8 and 8 in fact let me go uh, Get that real quick because you got this one I'm getting ready to get and you have uh, Romans 15 uh, and 4 all right see the whole point is to keep our people ignorant of who they really are so that way like it's always said they perform, perform all kinds of rituals and cast all kinds of put up curses on us. Uh, let's see, eight. Alright. This is something that our people, it says, uh, Job 8, verse 8, it says, For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Again, for inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Alright. Uh, let's go down here. For some reason, it didn't stick. And it goes, it says, the sages of the olden time reached an age beyond those of Job's time. Alright. And therefore could give the testimony of a fuller experience. Alright. And these ways have to, hey, because the thing is, our people, by and large, don't have a fear. All right? And these churches, the churches don't teach you to fear the Most High. They teach you God is all love. This is by design, people. All right? Uh, this is uh, Job 43, uh, 42 and 16. If your children sinned against him, all right, uh, he gave them 
over to the penalty of their sin. up to what we got now running around the streets here. All right, just wow. All right, so they can deal with it. They can shoot them 60 times and call it justified. Why? Because of this. All right, let me get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it 51? Hold on, hold on. Find out in a moment. Let me see. Because a lot of Jake is just gone. Here it is. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. You see Jake out there on the corners, up to no good. Alright. They are full of the fury of the Most High, the rebuke of that God. You, you, you know you don't so what you can if we don't kill you you can, you can uh, fill up the prisons you gotta understand there's a strategy behind all this uh, first of all we are still in captivity all they did was improve uh, on their plans from the beginning that's all just shifted strategies well if we can't get all this free labor we don't you know what are we gonna do now Bob Oh, I know. Uh, the creation of the prison industrial complex. You know, 13th Amendment, how it's worded, right? Yes, all this up until this point was a plan of theirs because they knew who we were. To keep them from realizing the truth about who they are. <laughs> Confederates. They don't want you to have it. That's why Esau what keeps back the Israelites from the study of the Torah. They condition you to see the Torahs done away with. When they find these Israelites who are waking up across the world, they send their Khazar, their fake Jewish people to go and meet them, to go and corrupt these people before they wake up and keep the laws of the Torah. Okay, this is something that we have to keep in mind. Before we die, we have to learn the laws of Moses, okay? The Torah, and it's not the law of Moses. I keep calling it that, but it's not that. It's the laws of your God, the commandments God gave Moses. God gave it to Moses, okay? Moses did not just come up with the laws on his own. No, God told him to tell the people, okay? So it's not actually the Mosaic law. It's the law of your God. It's the Torah, guys, okay? Keep those laws and gain immortality. You break them die guys mm -hmm. okay so that's what Esau's objective is to keep back the Israelites we will say to the best of your ability because there's this constant war between the spirit and that's why I mentioned earlier about Romans 7 alright <clears throat> there's no way you got that first covenant and you have the second covenant alright uh, couldn't keep the first one why the flesh that's why it tells you in Ezekiel hold on let me get it real quick because it has to be done. Uh, was it a lot? Was it the fault with with the law, or was it the flesh? This is uh, Ezekiel thirty. I think it's six. Hold on. Let's see. It says, for I will, verse 24, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you to your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. 
a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, flesh making reference to the first covenant and I will give you a flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judges and do them says and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your God Hebrews 8th chapter alright from the study of the Torah yeah, and then it tempts you guys with all this nonsense that exists on television on the internet, all this crap to what? to deeds that are in accordance with the wishes of Satan guys he doesn't want you guys to get that immortality. He so wants to destroy you. But the Negro needs to wake up to the plan, the plot of Esau, guys. Okay, to destroy the Negro. We have to be aware of this. That's why on TV today, American TV, all you see is what? Homosexuality, fornication, just evil, evil crap, guys. Whether it's transgender, all this evil stuff. They are tempting the Negro. The Negro is the primary target. Everybody else, all the other races, they are just collateral damage, okay? Necessary that is what we'll always the Gentiles told you. have to endure. The primary target of the assault is the Negro race, guys. And it's something that we all have to keep in mind, guys. Very powerful stuff, guys. Crazy. Okay, we are in a war, okay, for the very soul of our race. But most Negroes are asleep, guys. Are yep. sleeping Christianity, are sleeping Islam, are sleeping Judaism. Okay, but you have to remember the law, the Torah. Even the Quran tells the Israelites, there's a book I want you guys to see. Al Medai, verse 68, look at what it says. Say to them, the people of the book. Who are the people of the book? The Israelites, guys. That's who the people of the book are. You have no solid ground to stand on unless you establish the Torah. The Torah, the Torah, guys. Okay. You have to keep the Torah. You cannot ignore it. Don't believe all those lies that you hear that Torah is done away with, or the laws of Moses are done away with. It's not true. We have to establish it. You have no solid ground to stand on unless you establish the Torah and the gospel and all that has been revealed to you from your Lord. This book is one of those that was written by those Jews who helped the Prophet Muhammad compile the Quran. It's telling you right here, you have to keep the Torah. It's so important that you do that, guys. Okay, very, very powerful stuff. So anyone that's telling you, oh, don't keep the Torah, is trying to destroy you. Okay, and it's Esau that is pushing that lie. Esau is pushing that lie on the earth, guys. Esau tries to keep Israel back from the study of the Torah and tempts into deeds that are in accordance with the wishes of Satan. Remember, what does Revelation 2 verse 9 say about Esau? I know those who say they are Jews but are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. They worship Satan. They don't congregate to worship the, the God of the Israelites. No, the Edomites congregate to worship Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. Okay, even this book here just confirmed to you that the people that he's talking about who will say they are Jews but are not are the Edomites, guys. Okay, specifically the Khazars. They are the ones pushing that lie on the end today, guys. They are Edomites. Okay, but we are all with these Gentiles. They are trying their hardest to destroy us, and we need to be alert so that we can see all the different tricks. And trust me, there are many, many more tricks that our enemy is playing against our race. Okay, they are trying to stop us from building up the temple of God, which is the Negro race. Okay, I've shown you guys in the previous video. It's not just the Negro. I use this, but I want to stress the Northern and Southern Kingdom. Alright, because the Northern Kingdom were over here circa 700 BC. Alright, and you can find that information starting in 2 Kings 24th chapter. Alright, I'm just using this, alright, because he's pointing out the fact that these people are behind all right, all this confusion. This is being done on purpose. All right, they're trying to control, as usual, when you go into white supremacy. At its basic, it's about control. All right, 
like they always control the narratives, right? Well, they're losing uh, that war. All right, so this is not just about the Negro. All right, <clears throat> so again, I want to stress this is about <clears throat> the northern and the southern kingdom. I mentioned uh, Ezekiel 37 chapter, all right, about the dry bones and about <clears throat> the stick, all right, and the bringing of those two uh, northern and the southern kingdoms back together as one. And that's what's happening now, all right. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind when you see this, all right. It's not just you know these Old Testament guys you know it's more to it alright it's the whole Bible Old Testament Apocrypha New Testament alright Yahushua says I come in the volume of the book alright alright that's uh, Psalms 40 and 7 and then it's uh, <clears throat> told again in Hebrews 10 and 7 alright comes in the volume of the whole book volume of the book. Alright. That the Negro race today is the temple of God that must be built up. Okay. And we cannot allow these Gentiles have any role in building up God's temple. The Negro. Powerful. Yeah, because we've been scattered as punishment. You gotta understand that. Alright. Um, so this, you know, Negro only, you have because we were scattered, uh, no one looks the same as they did back 2,000 more years ago, all right? Um, this doctrine of, you know, Negro only, and you leave out half, at least, uh, because then who's the Negro? Uh, is it just talking about uh, so-called African Americans? What about the Caribbean? What about uh, those people still over there, uh, West Africa, uh, or wherever they are around the earth? All right. That's why when you limit yourself to just saying Negro and so-called black and all this, all right, it's, it's so much more to it. Uh, don't fall into that trap. All right. But the information that he brought up about them uh, and the books. That's all I was really concerned about because they are, these are things um, that these uh, Edomites, these pretenders, these uh, J-double-O's, this is what they've been doing. They're behind the scenes trying to control um, the awakening. Alright? It's not going to work. <coughs> it's all I can. Alright? So this is why you're seeing them because they are behind and trying to establish so-called new world order. Right, they are behind. <clears throat> so I hope you uh, <clears throat> uh, were edified as to the video here, but understand that uh, again, it's not just the Torah. All right, it's the whole Bible. All right, because um, being in the flesh, we can't keep. In fact, let me get it because I don't want to. Somebody might say, well, why didn't you get the scripture? Well, let's get it. We'll get... Uh, I just got to remember if this... Uh, no, nah, that doesn't go. Let's see. Uh, crap. I have to get... Well, let's get Romans first. Then I'll worry about that a little. Let's get Romans. Because I thought this one had... Um, doesn't have the apocrypha, so lock it. All right. No law has power over man longer than he lives. All right. Let's see. But we are dead to the law. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yet it's not the law of sin. Uh, let's see. Start at uh, 
13. Was that, and this is Paul, of course, he says, Was that then which is good made death unto me? The most I forbid, but sin, that it might appear sin, worketh death in me, that by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For that which I do, I will allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. Alright, because it's a constant uh, battle between the spirit and the flesh. Alright, it says, uh, if then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that is good. Now then, it is no more that I do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. Alright? For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now let me get the other Bible. Alright, let's get, oh, come on now, there we go, alright, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, here we go, alright, here we go, alright, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Let's scroll on down here. We're going to stop on this. Hopefully I made my point to you. It says verse 15. All right. For the corruptible body presseth down the soul, the flesh. All right. And the earthy tabernacle weigheth down the mind that museth upon many things. So there you go again I hope we have reviews this is edified now hopefully you can understand the wickedness all right is it to the extent these devils will go to keep us ignorant of who we are all right they're constant efforts but it's it's way too late all right way too late so now you're going to see things really accelerate. All right. Uh, Russia ain't playing. That's what I'm going to say. All right. So, again, uh, I hope whoever views this is edified. Uh, that's what we do here. Great Millstone. Filter everything through the scriptures. And, of course, um, remember, both fast and pray. All right. So with that, until the next video, take shalom.